Hello, all of you out there in Mighty Babylon. I have a very interesting update for all of you. Um, this first slide shows NASA's own website where it shows the orbit of a very un lesser known or unknown to most people uh, object called 2000 PN9. Doubt you've ever heard of it. In this next slide, I've highlighted up at the top the website. So if you want to pause and then write that down, that's cool. So you can go and check it out for yourself. So the website shows the orbit of 2000 PN9. And uh, the, the interesting thing is what is a PN9? M many people are mistaking it as a comet or an asteroid. But if you research astronomical designations, you find that PN stands for Planetary Nebula. And if you do more research, you find that a planetary nebula is the remains of a dead dwarf star and may actually contain the star itself as a black star because it's just burnt out. Um, and according to this website, NASA's own website, uh, we have a dead dwarf star or a planetary nebula in our own galaxy. Unbelievable, huh? This next slide shows where I've highlighted down the bottom left the closest distance it will be to our Earth 0 0.117 astronomical units. In the bottom right, you see the date that it will be closest to our Earth, March 11th, 2011. In this next slide, I'm going to tell you what one astronomical unit is. It is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. In this next slide, we see I want to show you how close this planetary nebula is going to get to our planet. You can see um, that it's not drawn to scale. I mean the Sun and the planet and the moon and the planetary nebula are not drawn to scale because the, the Earth is actually much smaller than that in relation to the Sun, and the Moon is actually much smaller than that. And I have no idea the size of the planetary nebula, because NASA's not telling us. Well, they on their website, it says that um, it's relatively small. But can you really believe them? I mean, if it's a dwarf star, it's got to be bigger than our planet, don't you think? Anyways, um, right now, you should be having an oh my god moment because look how close the planetary nebula gets to the Earth. If you don't think that that's going to cause some major Earth changes, you've got another thing coming. Well, that's it for now. Signing off. Happy Ides of March.